Hi, my name is Heather Richmond. Welcome to the channel. I hope everyone is still doing well and you guys are taking care of yourselves. So this video is a little bit um, off the cuff, kind of impromptu, and it is also equal parts a message of encouragement as well as a sort of note to self. <laughs> Um, but I think it's important, and if you find your way to this video, you know, I, I believe that you will perhaps resonate with these ideas, and hopefully some of what I uh, intend to say will give you a little bit of encouragement. So, obviously, making this transition into this new way of being, into the state of, you know, higher dimensional consciousness, of, um, you know, creating the new earth, however it is that you view that. Regardless, um, making that transition is very, um, it's, it's a bold move, obviously and it requires courage and it also requires perseverance um, and so i know that it might be you know a little bit redundant to talk about staying in the heart as you make your way into higher dimensions of of consciousness and make that you know your way of being but um you know i think that we can all use the reminder um, to make sure that we always stay from that place of the centered heart space as much as possible. And the more you do it, the more you'll do it. You know, the more you practice it, the more natural it becomes and it's, you know, less of a challenge for you. So to get a bit more specific, um, as we're, you know, embarking upon this, um, this path, it is, it, it can often be, you know, a, a lonely endeavor. You know, you are um, choosing to take a path that is not only more difficult, you know, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, um, but it's not only more difficult, but it's, it, we're also still at this point, you know, in the vast minority of people who are, um, you know, making this decision. And so, um, you know, oftentimes that means, um, you know, breaking away in some form or fashion from family. It often means losing touch with, you know, friends, people you were once close with, um, you know, you find that in, in very real, tangible ways, you no longer resonate with them. And, it, you know, it's almost as though sometimes there's like this, this barrier where you literally cannot, you know, get in touch with them. You know, you can't, um, from my perception, the two earth split has already, um, I wouldn't say necessarily has fully transpired, you know, but I do believe that the the dimensional split has um, at least started. <laughs> it's and it's gotten a pretty good start, I believe. And so, um, you know, again, that that can be a pretty lonely endeavor at times because you might be the only person in your family who is making that decision, or maybe you're the only person in your, amongst your group of friends. And so, you know, um, as such, um, I think we maybe increasingly will find ourselves in situations where we are trying to communicate with a loved one, with a friend or with a family member, and we try to get them to see our point of view. We try to get them to see things from our perspective. I think it's important to keep in mind that that is literally impossible. You cannot get anyone else to see anything exactly the way you see it. Um, and that goes the other way. No one else can get you to see things exactly the way you see it. Um, they see it until... Um, 
you know, perhaps that um, situation is mirrored back to you. So um, I think oftentimes trying to convince people of, you know, obviously, I think we all know by now, trying to convince people to, to make these decisions and to quote unquote, wake up and all of that, that's a futile endeavor, because um, everyone is going to come to these realizations in their own time. So, you know, it is not our job to to push things down people's throats, you know, to push information information on to people. Um, that's not our job. And it's, it's a, not only a distraction from, um, our own journey, but it's also, it can be detrimental to other people. So, um, I say all that to say, um, when you find yourself in a conversation like that, or some, you know, scenario that has transpired where you're, you know, thinking in your mind, you're thinking, oh my goodness, like, why can't this person understand? Um, always try to keep in mind, number one, that this situation would not be manifesting in your reality if it was not something that did not exist within you. I think I said that a bit confusingly, so let me rephrase that. Um, the only things that will transpire in your external reality are things that are present within your internal reality. And so, um, you know, if, if something, um, you know, it, it's probably rooting up something that is deep within you that, you know, some old programming that is no longer serving you and it might be holding you back from doing something or not doing something, you know, that is important. And so, um, your soul has chosen to mirror the situation back to you through other people. So keep in mind that everything that happens, I think I say this probably in every video, but I'll say it again <laughs> uh, because I believe it. Everything that happens in your reality is a lesson for you. My apologies. I had to pause there for a moment. So everything that transpires in your reality is a lesson that is presenting itself for you and also by you at a soul level, um, so that you can, um, you know, continue in your evolution so that you can learn and evolve. Um, additionally, when you find yourself in these situations, um, I think it's also helpful to, you know, recognize, um, that, whomever you're speaking with, in all likelihood, they um, are speaking through the filter of their programming, right? Um, and it's, it's not, um, again, I, I would encourage you to not get too frustrated with anyone um, who is operating on that old programming because you know think about yourself before you began your awakening and you know if someone had tried to talk to you about these sort of things you would not have understood most likely you know um, I think we would like to think that we <laughs> that we would but probably not in all likelihood um, so it, it's almost as though you are literally um, speaking a different language. You are using different vocabulary and the words mean different things. And, um, you know, again, um, you know, when, when you say something after, um, you know, after awakening in this state of being in 5D or transitioning to 5D, um, you know, you, you recognize that everything you say is of the utmost importance, um, and everything has a meaning behind it. And you're cautious about the words that you use, <clears throat> but obviously 
you know, others in your reality who have not yet had those realizations, um, you know, they, they don't necessarily speak in, you know, in that way. Um, having said all of that, I will also say that, um, the further, you know, probably if you're listening to this video, um, you resonate with this, the further into higher dimensional consciousness that you get, um, you will come to understand that anyone who is in your reality, um, is resonating with you on some level. So, um, even though it may not present in that way, um, you got to keep in mind that you are speaking to their ego. So you're, you know, for the most part, you are, um, speaking from your own ego when you're particularly when you're in these, um, these situations to an extent, and you're speaking to that person's ego, but you may not necessarily see or perceive that on a higher level, you know, their higher self at a soul level, um, that message is resonating with you because I truly do believe that at this point in our journey, that anyone who is not resonating with you at some level is going to be gone from your reality. Um, that's just how it is from my perspective again. Um, and so again, um, you know, you'll, you'll have people who will, and I'm sure this is not news to, to most of you. Um, you know, you'll have people who think it's, you know, crazy that you're, um, making decisions that, that you're making, um, because the way that we have been programmed to think in this, um, you know, in this third dimensional matrix, um, everything is an inversion of reality. You know, everything that we were presented with was just this distorted, backwards, upside down, inverted um, picture of what our soul really is. And so, you know, um, it, you know, you're not going to, again, trying to convince someone of your perspective uh, particularly just in one conversation that may be wrought with conflict anyway, um, that is not going to, you know, serve to wake people up. So my best piece of advice is, um, to again, stay in the heart space as much as possible. You know, you may find that, and I found this to be true, um, but it's getting less and less, but you may find yourself sort of, um, you know, falling back into that old pattern of fear. Um, but again, that's there for you to learn from and it's there to motivate you or maybe reinforce what you're doing or maybe get you to go on a different path. Um, but stay in the heart space as much as possible. Um, operate with compassion, with love, um, and understand that um, no one is out to get you. This other person is not bad or evil or wrong. Um, they are telling you these things from, from exactly the way they see it. It is their truth to them, and that's fine. Um, we all are taking our own paths. Some people, you know, that who are in your reality, you know, they may eventually... Um, you know, come over to your way of thinking. Uh, you know, that's the hope I think for, for all of us, we, we have that hope that the, the people who we love will wake up. Um, but I truly do believe that that doesn't happen by, you know, uh, if we're operating out of anger and saying, Hey, you got to live from the heart. You got to love everybody. Um, obviously those two messages are, you know, they're, they're incongruent. So anyhow, um, like I said, this was kind of off the cuff and it's also, um, 
you know, sort of me <laughs> articulating these things. I guess really every video I make is really just, it's mostly me sort of um, articulating this to myself and making sure that I have a good understanding of it. Um, but then also if it happens to find its way, you know, to, to someone and, and it helps you, then I'm very grateful for that. So I will leave that there and thank you so much for listening.